Hi, I'm Sophia LaFraga and this is Having a Smoke with You. Today I'm joined by Carl Holmquist in his very yellow apartment studio in Kreuzberg. Let's see, maybe this will stay. There. My last day in Berlin. Oh, a big burnt ashtray. <laughs> the frame. Um, after a really nice summer, I saw Carl before and after my unforgettable, life changing trip to India. Um, what was our summer kind of rundown? What did we do? I guess we went to Mobile also one night. I got too drunk. And we went to Geneva. Hung out in the pools and did our thing. And now here we are back. What was your highlights and lowlights of the summer? Only highlights. <laughs> Lake Geneva was very nice. Swim around them. And uh, Italy. place to go in the summer. I came back here in August. Do you enjoy teaching? Yeah, it's not to kind of fly in, fly out. I kind of like that. It's kind of, kind of, I don't want to get too involved. Yeah. Because I teach art, obviously, and it's such an impossible thing to, to teach. I'm happy to help. If yeah. I, if I can. What are you gonna do with these people in Rome? You know, or no, Lausanne. Uh, I was thinking about deep listening. Polina uh, Oliveira's term for being attentive to things, sounds in your environment. And I just like the term. I don't know much about it, but I'm just thinking about how we can. This new work that you're working on, the publication, what, what, like, time, like, what, what's the structure of it, or how's the, what's the layout, what's the conceit? Uh, self phrases written in one yeah. word, basically, so it looks kind of quite impenetrable. Like no spaces? Yeah. Understand what it's what it's about. But it's different from the text that you read at um in Geneva and at our reading at Mavra. Um, that seemed to be like xenophobia. Yeah, I think there were excerpts of it at Mavra. Okay. And I kind of read the whole thing because uh, I did two readings at in Geneva. I did one solo one at the beginning of the exhibition, and then I read. We were talking earlier about process when we were at lunch, and we were talking about how um, our friend Peaches kind of doesn't write anything down and kind of just memorizes everything. Um, 
do you feel like this text on like the text on xenophobia is it kind of like collected over a long time or did you kind of like since year I guess like it started maybe November last year but then also when you start <coughs> working on something you sort of dip back into things that are always yeah. And uh, I write stuff down, but I also repeat things in my head just to get the phrasing of it, to get to know that it will have a good rhythm. So I guess yeah. there's a lot of sort of memory work involved in all sorts of things. No, I was interested uh, in seeing those little kind of post it notes and like your notes where you have your poems. Do they like, are those just kind of your notes, or do, is that like what some what, like, You'll type up and we'll be like actually. At some point, I, I, I write them out on the computer, yeah. Because usually the notes, I always write them with a lot of envelopes. And I do buy notebooks as well. But usually, it's somehow easier to write on the kind of envelope that, it, that, that you're about to throw out. Yeah, it feels less, less, whatever. Less, less pressure. Yeah. 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 So some of the kind of best ideas I just kind of randomly scribble here and there and then I go through all that stuff and somehow put it into something slightly more coherent. Interesting. Can't wait to see what these little things are doing. <laughs> I'm done with my cigarette, but so... For now, this was having a smoke with Carl Holmquist. <laughs>